Gabe Vincent, one of the most important players on the Eastern Conference champion Miami Heat, and Torian Prince, one of the best 3 and D lockdown defenders, just signed free agency contracts with a Laker team that had it close in every game during the Western Conference Finals against the eventual champion Denver Nuggets. Vincent gives LeBron and AD about everything their team was missing, consistent perimeter shooting. More importantly than just consistent three-point shooting, Gabe gives this LA squad a three-point specialist. That's something this Lakers team, aside from Malik Beasley, who is out of the rotation by the 2023 playoffs, were desperately lacking. Because while guys like Reeves and D'Lo are capable of hitting spot-up threes, their specialty is creating buckets off the dribble. With a rotation on the perimeter consisting of Braun, Vando, Rui, who was also just signed to a three-year extension, in addition to a now 38.1% high-volume three-point shooter, who is one of the highest both aura and energy defenders in the association in Torian Prince, the Lakers have kicked off 2023's free agency with a Mike Breen-esque bang. Gabe Vincent wasn't great in the finals overall, averaging 11.4 points per game against the Nuggets for Miami. He did have 23 points in Miami's lone win of the series, however, a game in which he was the leading scorer for the Heat in. The 27-year-old undrafted phenom broke out in the playoffs, upping his production significantly from the regular season. He averaged 12.7 points per night in Miami's miracle run. He took six threes per night and knocked down 37.8% of them in 22 games throughout the 2023 playoffs. This included Vincent scoring as many as 29 in Game 3 of the Conference Finals against Boston. Torian Prince, meanwhile, gives you a clampdown defender whose interior perimeter and help defense are all beyond elite. In addition to having a 6'11 wingspan, the most valued part of Torian's defensive game is the man's lateral quickness. Offensively, he shot a blistering 43.8% on corner three-point shots. If you're a Laker fan, though, you're ecstatic right now about how the fact that after getting swept by Denver, GM Rob Palinka was well aware his team had a shot in every one of those matchups and he didn't panic. Instead, Rob has made a statement on day one of many amidst what should be a wild free agent frenzy. Subscribe to Deepla Hoops if you love the NBA. We're going to be breaking down everything free agency wise including how the Lakers, in addition to everything you just heard, have offered Austin Reeves a four-year contract. As of this recording, that deal for Reeves is up in the air, as the Wemby-led San Antonio Spurs could be the leading candidate to swipe Austin off the market. The qualifying free agents in Reeves and Hachimura being extended is a sign that Genie Buss and this Laker franchise aren't messing around. Given 23-24 is the last year they'll have LeBron for, with the King promising to play next to his son Bronny during his rookie season next year, getting down to business right out of the gates was necessary. Bruce Brown is going to the Pacers, so you weren't able to snag him away from the Nuggets, but in the first day of this free agency, you not only re-up your restricted FAs, bring in Torian Prince and Gabe Vincent, the Lake Show also got significantly younger by acquiring Cam Reddish. Reddish is one of those lottery picks who never panned out, yet has every skill that it takes to be successful in the NBA, whether it's wingspan, shot creation, or flow. He just hasn't found any luck in four NBA seasons in which he split time between Atlanta, New York, and Portland. Maybe Hollywood is the change of scenery Cam is looking for, who knows. One thing's for sure though, the internal competition that Reddish is going to have will be second to none. Competing for minutes at the forward position with James, Davis, Rui, Vando, Prince, and soon-to-be sophomore Christie will be a nightmare. Non-coincidentally, the Lakers acquire Reddish after being in trade talks to receive him back in December. That didn't pan out. Cam's length and speed should provide a good blend of bodies defensively for Coach Darvin, and Reddish should also keep guys like Vando, Rui, not to mention LeBron, fresh for when it matters most. The reason a purple and gold splash on day one of free agency is so intriguing though is because the old Rob Palinka wouldn't have been so on point. Also, back when under longtime executive Mitch Kupchak, how the Lakers completely fumbled the end of Kobe Bryant's career was really disappointing, so it's good to see the Lake Show front office conversely catching and running to the end zone with the end of LeBron's career. Whether it was the trade deadline bonanza from this past February, 
or what we've seen today, with a flurry of Palenka blockbusters dropping like it's Hiroshima. Now it's time for King James and AD to stay healthy both mentally and physically across the course of another vigorous 82-game grind for another shot at getting through the West and ultimately the franchise's second chip of the decade and 18th all-time.